for over a year, the Judgment Day has been a presence on Monday Night Raw, and the quartet of Balor, Priest, Ripley, and Mysterio have been a hit with fans. On this week's NXT, Dominic Mysterio added the North American title to the group, which already has the Women's World title and Men's Money in the Bank briefcase in their possession. PW Insider reports that WWE was extremely happy with the Judgment Day's performance on NXT and has credited the group with helping to raise interest in the gold brand in recent weeks. It was also stated that fans can expect to see the North American title on Raw going forward and that there are plans in place for the group in NXT for at least the next month, if not longer. The Dominic Mysterio vs. Wes Lee title match on NXT was the highest quarter hour of the show, averaging an impressive 746,000 viewers in one of the highest viewed segments in NXT this year. As previously reported, WWE considered the Judgment Day as a successor to the Bloodline in both fan interest and longevity, and it's a very good time to be a member of the Monday Night Raw faction. It's been over three years since Matt Cardona was released from WWE, but this week, the self-professed indie god made his return to Raw, though not on screen. Instead, Cardona was around to watch his wife Chelsea Green capture the women's tag titles with Sonya Deville in a heartwarming moment for the former Zack Ryder. Speaking to Busted Open, Cardona recalled the day Green was released from WWE and her journey back to the company and getting to see her win the title in front of a packed crowd in Atlanta. Cardona added that he didn't want to be backstage at Raw, as he didn't want to look like he was begging for a job, and it was senior official John Cone who snuck him in and out without being spotted. Cardona is a self-professed belt collector and joked he is now one half of one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, but this past Monday was all about his wife and her big win. Later this month, WWE and Peacock will release American Nightmare, the much-anticipated documentary about the life, career, and journey of Cody Rhodes. The big question for many fans is to how much time, if any, of the documentary will be spent looking at his time in AEW, but there is quite the AEW presence at the premiere of the doc. Fightful Select reports that Amanda Huber, who works with AEW in various outreach programs, was at the premiere, as were several members of the Nightmare Factory. Other notable guests included Sandra Frey, the wrestling seamstress who has worked with both WWE and AEW talent, as well as Matt Cardona, who attended alongside his wife Chelsea Green. The two-hour documentary is narrated by Stephen Amell, who competed back at All In back in 2018, so while this doc is WWE approved, there's been plenty of interest from those outside the company. When Jeff Hardy refused to enter rehab in late 2021, claiming he was not on drugs during a bizarre incident at a WWE event, the company released him, a decision they'd quickly regret. After learning that Jeff really wasn't on drugs and fearing him joining AEW, WWE made a generous offer for Jeff to return, which would have included a WWE Hall of Fame induction. Hardy would say no to that offer, and when speaking on his brother's Extreme Life podcast, Jeff explained why he needed to say no. It just felt so wrong. It almost felt like, how dare you in a sense? I know it sounds crazy, I guess when you get offered the Hall of Fame, it's like, oh of course, yeah, I'm a Hall of Famer. It's never really meant that much to me, like, the Hall of Fame, whatever it is, but it's not the time for that. That's why it was just kind of like a hard no, especially it feels like something Matt and I should go in together as the Hardy Boys when the time is right. With a successful career as both a tag wrestler and a single star, Jeff could likely be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame multiple times, but it won't be happening at this stage of his career. Given the circumstances in which Jeff's most recent WWE run ended, it may be a while before we see him enter the Hall of Fame. And when that day comes, Matt will be by his side as a Hall of Famer. From the moment Ronda Rousey arrived in WWE, she has had a unique relationship with fans, many of whom believe she just simply doesn't belong in the company. When Shayna Baszler supposedly turned heel on Rousey at Money in the Bank, the fans in London were delighted, forcing WWE to change plans with Baszler, now the face, and Rousey as the heel. Speaking on The Bump this week, Baszler said she was hardly surprised that Rousey has struggled with fans, saying the crowd can smell it when a superstar is faking the funk. Comparing this situation to boxing, Baszler said that fans will support who they choose rather than who they're told to cheer, and the fans have clearly chosen to side with her. 
The on-screen story is that Baszler believes Rousey has been awarded too many opportunities and didn't earn her way into WWE, a genuine gripe that many fans have with the former Raw Women's Champion. The pair are expected to face off at SummerSlam in what is expected to be Rousey's final match in WWE, and she can expect a less than favorable response from the fans in Detroit next month. After his departure from WWE, Bobby Fish has worked for AEW, New Japan, and Impact, and recently the Undisputed Era alum showed off a dramatic new look on social media. Fish recently showed off his new look as he completely shaved his head, sporting a bald look, and many fans said that he looked unrecognizable with the new look. While it was claimed that Fish wanted Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly to leave AEW with him, Fish has denied those claims, and where do you see his career going from here? AEW news now as Kota Ibushi made his debut for the promotion this week inside Blood and Guts and helped Team Elite to victory over the Blackpool Combat Club in the violent match. The match saw glass, steel chairs, and even a bed of nails be brought out, and not every amount of pain inflicted on Ibushi was done so by his opponents. After Dynamite went off the air, Ibushi saw that there were still some thumbtacks left in the ring, and in a moment that we're still not sure why he did it, Ibushi did a back bump onto the tacks. This shocking and somewhat hilarious moment certainly took the Elite by surprise, and while this may not be the last we see of Ibushi in AEW, we hope it's the last time the Japanese star decimates his own body with thumbtacks. More from AEW as this week's Blood and Guts show was a major event on the company's calendar, but one notable name backstage wasn't around. On AEW, AEW Vice President of Talent Coaching Pat Buck revealed that he was going to go to the show, but ended up skipping Blood and Guts, but for a very good reason. The tweet revealed that Buck and his wife welcomed their baby daughter Mora into the world, and we'd like to send our congratulations to both proud parents on this addition to their family. Hours before the premiere episode of AEW Collision, Jim Ross suffered a fall that left him with a black eye and a suspected concussion, but he'd still make it to the show. After what JR considered a poor performance, he has taken time off from AEW to get properly healed, and recently, the AEW commentator had to rush to the emergency room. During his Grilling JR podcast, Ross explained that there was a redness in his wounded leg that was hurt in the fall, and he had been warned to go to the ER immediately if it happened. After undergoing tests, JR was relieved to learn that the redness in his leg was nothing serious, but he should go back and see them if the redness in his leg continues to move. JR added that he wishes he could go back to AEW right now, as he misses being around the team and calling the action, but that's not possible right now. JR is considered one of the greatest of all time and fans are eager to hear him on TV again, but for now, his focus should be on getting healed and we're wishing him a speedy recovery. Did WWE accidentally reveal major clue about Uncle Howdy's identity? Please check our previous video by clicking on the end screen or check the description and once again, thanks for watching.